come up presence force value force value feature enables to switch between two different values of a set point it is useful especially for applications where two or more set point values are selected to achieve different modes of operation switch between values is realized a binary input or PLC output. The physical dimension of the set point does not change. If force value is active, it is not possible to change set point value. Force value has to be deactivated first. Maximum 16 force value blocks can be used. Now I show you how you can set force value function in IntelliGen or IntelliSys controllers. In our example, we would like to change nominal power depending on current factors. So we want to change this set point of some binary input. In set points are group basic settings. And here is the set point nominal power which we want to change of some binary input. So we open a tool genconfig. In genconfig are a card set points and group basic settings where is a nominal power set point which is now 200 kilowatts and we would like to change value of this set point of some binary input so we open force value card and add new force value function you can see that we can use 16 force value function we choose force value 1 and we can change source name this function then we set new value this set point which will be activated of some binary input then close force value window now you can see join our force value set point with a nominal power set point in a group force value you can see our force value set point which is set on 100 kilowatt now we joined this set point with some binary input so in card input and outputs we set for example binary input 10 where we deactivated protection and active function and we choose our force value set point which we joined with binary input 10 In this card you can verify join between our force value function and binary input 10. That's all about settings of a force value but now it write to controller. Now we come back to Intel Monitor. And in the group basic settings are nominal power set point which is set to 200 kilowatts. You can see then we can change this value. Now we active a binary input 10. And you can see then a set point change from 200 kilowatts to 100 kilowatts. And you cannot change this value now force value has to be deactivated first. After deactivated a binary input 10 it's come back to 200 kilowatts and you can change a value now. That's all from me about force value function. Now you know how you can set it 
in which case you can use it. Thanks for watching this video.